Good morning. I am really not doing great. Bro, I swear this past like month, month and a half has just not been good. Let's do a little breakdown. So like the third week of June, I got a terrible ear infection. I was basically on bed rest for over a week. I was in so much pain, but I recovered after going to the doctor, being on antibiotics and all of that. Then I randomly just got like the worst period of my life and was so tired, horrible cramps, like two weeks after that, right? Okay, now I think I have COVID. So I don't know how I managed this, but my body just hates me right now. So I don't know, I just wanted to vlog a little bit of me being sick, I guess. I'm pretty sure me and my boyfriend have COVID, so we're going to get tested together today. But we got really sick yesterday. So yesterday was a Saturday and we were supposed to go on a floating trip with our church friends. And yeah, no, he ended up just coming over so we could be sick together. And the symptoms just kept stacking on. So I looked up the symptoms of COVID and of course there's like all the different strands now. So it doesn't feel the same as when I had COVID in October. This is, feels completely different. If I do have COVID, I'm gonna be so mad, but it, it's obviously I have it. Like what else, what other sickness has all of these symptoms? But the good news is that I would work from home. My job won't start. My new job is work from home anyway, and it doesn't start until like over a week from now. So I have plenty of time to quarantine, rest up and get better before I start like onboarding and everything. But. <laughs> I guess at least me and him can hang even though we're miserable. Oh. Anyway, what time is it? Okay, we should probably actually go to go get our COVID test, so. If I remember from last time I got tested, I need my insurance cards, which I have, and my ID. I don't know where that is. I think it's in here. I still have my bag packed from when we were gonna go floating. And it looked so fun, everyone was sending the pictures. Okay, well, I thought I put my wallet in here. I'm gonna go with the Crocs. All right, we just made it to CVS, and for some reason they're not doing drive through which is like, why would you want someone with COVID to walk in the store? But it's the only option, so putting on my mask. I haven't had to wear one of these in like months. So here we go. Just got done. I wasn't able to record it because it was inside. Well, this CVS, it's like not a CVS. They took everything out of it. It's just COVID testing stations. So I guess that makes more sense. But I was like, hmm. But they were super nice and I should get my results within an hour. All right, it's the next day. So I'm day three of being sick. First of all, update, COVID test was negative. So we got a couple options. Either it was too early to be positive which i don't think is true because i've been having symptoms for i had two days i'm feeling way better today so i don't think it was covid but the other option is that i have the flu which i think is a possibility because it turns out every one of my boyfriend's work is also homesick but none of them have tested po positive for covid either so i honestly think the flu is going around anyway today has been the worst because i all night long have been going to the bathroom Every like 20 minutes, maybe every hour in the night, but since I woke up, it was like every 20 minutes. This is like the longest I've gone without going to the bathroom. It's probably been like two hours, but I was in the bath for probably three hours this morning in the bath, on the toilet, in the bath, on the toilet. But the reason I got in the bath is because my back is killing me. Like, I don't know what's wrong. My lower back hurts so bad. Like, you know, when you get cramps, like period cramps, I'm feeling that, but like in my back and like it will go up my back and into my leg when it really hurts. And I don't know what's wrong with it. Like this can't be a symptom of a sickness. I think I just like pulled a muscle or something. I don't know, but it freaking hurts. Anyway, I kind of want to make myself feel somewhat better today. So I'm going to do a little bit of like reset. First, I'm gonna make the bed. I was gonna wash the sheets, but I'm gonna wait until I know I'm not sick anymore because why would I wash the sheets if I'm gonna be sick again all night tonight? So let's just make the bed. Every time I record myself making the bed, I just expose how messy of a sleeper I am. Like the blankets are always on like one side of the bed, all like off the bed. I'm just a mess. All right, looks much better. Feeling better just having my bed made, cleaned up the floor, but I'm gonna change outfits. You may not know this about me, but one of my favorite things in the world to wear is a long sleeve with shorts, which is why the transitional seasons, spring and fall, are my favorite, because that's usually the only time I can wear them. But now that I live in Texas, it's more like just winter because it's still hot, like too hot to wear this in the fall. So we'll see how this fall goes. Now for a little bit of helping me feel better, I did already wash and moisturize my face, which helped a lot. 
brush my eyebrows. I need to fix my hair. These clear elastics just don't hold my hair at all. That's why I have this. But I don't have any like black boneless normal hair dyes. But I put these braids in last night and they're just a little messy from sleeping in them. So we're gonna give it a nice little brush. Ooh, wait, maybe I'll just wear it down. Yesterday I showered, obviously. And I felt so much better after that shower because that first day that I was sick, Saturday, when I wasn't vlogging it, I was literally in bed all day. It was disgusting. I hated it. But feeling so much better today. So now it's just about kind of getting myself ready for being all better. I did take a ton of pain medication, just like ibuprofen this morning with my back hurting. So that has helped, but I haven't had a fever at all yesterday or today. I think I am just gonna do braids, so it's just out of my face. Also, my boyfriend is here. He's downstairs playing video games and hanging out with our cat. We've been hanging this whole time we've been sick, so I'm glad that I'm not going through it alone. It still sucks. I'm gonna do two of the clear elastics and hope that holds. My hair is just too thick. Normally I would pull out my front hairs, but since my bangs are still growing out, they're gonna fall eventually. And I'm gonna take in the moment of hair just being out of my face. So we're not gonna pull the hair up. I'm even gonna put on a little bit of perfume, just make myself feel really good. We're getting better. We're healing. We're good. We are not sick anymore. I'm also gonna do laundry. By the way, if I haven't said this yet, this is the best laundry hamper because this can stay up here. And then I just take out the net and go take it downstairs. Oh my gosh, also if I get approved for the bigger apartment, the washer and dryer are literally right next to the closet. That's gonna hit so hard. That made me really tired, but not like super tired. I definitely have my energy back and I'm feeling a lot better. My back hasn't hurt this whole time, so I don't feel sick and that's really good. Phoenix and my boyfriend have been helping me clean. Phoenix just making a mess while I clean and then me cleaning it up after it. <laughs> but oh my gosh, last night Phoenix ran out of food, like took his last bite of food. So I ordered some on Amazon. I guess I got here at like four in the morning, but obviously I was asleep. So finally poured his, water, poured his food into his food bowl and he was so excited to eat. So that worked out perfect timing. And then I cleaned his water bowl also which I did the other day so I didn't film it and so now he has clean water but something I did want to update you guys on let me pull up my Amazon wish list so my next apartment especially if I get approved for the like townhouse if you guys haven't seen go watch the last video but quick recap because of this new job I need more space to have a studio I want to stay at the apartments that I already got approved for and signed the lease and they'll let me transfer two bedroom so I've been hoping that I get that and while I wait for their approval I've been planning if I do get it this is what I'm gonna decorate like I'm gonna keep a lot of my same stuff but I kind of do want to start fresh and buy like one big item a month or something like that and slowly build to have this like nice place so this this is the bed frame that I want I hate my current bed frame and I just think this is so cute and it's $143, which I think is relatively affordable. The one that I have right now, I actually got on Facebook Marketplace with the mattress that was barely used for $180. So I will have two beds, one downstairs, one upstairs. So I'll put that bed frame downstairs and then get one that I really like upstairs. I've wanted a canopy one for a really long time. I really like the headboard on this one. And I think it's just gonna be such a vibe and add like fairy lights up there. I also think I might switch to a duvet and duvet cover or just get a new comforter the cat has torn that one apart which I know he'll tear the next one apart but I want to go for less of like a bright color and more like neutral and then add bright colors throughout the room and keep to like earthy cozy tones my goal for my next apartment is to have it be so cozy because my favorite time in this apartment was Christmas I had the Christmas lights up and it was just so cozy in my apartment and this next place will have a lot better window natural lighting and then I want to add mood lighting throughout the apartment and candles and stuff like that but the best part is that my new company that I'm starting with next week is going to, they gave me a budget, but they're going to give me a remodel on a studio or like build out my dream studio. So I finally came up with the inspiration. So I have these two photos. I love this vibe and this vibe, but then also add in some colored lighting. I have a couple couches I've been looking at on Facebook Marketplace and then also might just buy a new chair because I really want a swivel chair, which is why I'm like, I might buy these bigger items just kind of as I I get paid so I still want to be able to save a lot and really budget my way through this so we'll see how things go I still have a couple weeks till I move and then I'm gonna take my time furnishing so it'll be a while before I can do like a completed apartment tour which I literally never did here because I just hate it here and I just didn't want to put you guys through that I'm gonna go downstairs and make some food because I'm hungry I pulled up these blinds so Phineas could sit in the windowsill 
I just got done playing a few little video games with my boyfriend, so that was fun. And I'm gonna put away my laundry and then actually go make dinner. He was laying down and I put this candle up here and set up like a cute little photo shoot and it was so cute and Phoenix was looking so majestic.